Hi guys, Scuffy Spurs Talk here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be reflecting and talking about that 2 2 draw, action packed 2 2 draw against Liverpool uh, in the Premier League going into Christmas. Let's get straight into it and I hope you're all well. Um, so, is it action packed Christmas uh, festive treat for you all? It was a really good game, last game before Christmas, and it really was the main event. Uh, like it was on the Super Sunday, that was a really Super Sunday uh, game. Was incredible, action packed, amazing. Um, even you know, new, neutral spectators is amazing, and for fans, uh, staff, whether it's managers, it's so entertaining. Players, both teams gave it all. But our point of view at the start of the day. Um, if you'd asked me, I, would I have taken a point? I would have said yes, because I, I talked about in the game about realistically and maybe about um, um, game management, for example. I said about, um, you know, about damage limitation and keep, keeping keep us being realistic as Spurs fans and talking about, you know, not losing 3 4 5 nil against Liverpool when we keep it to that 1 2 nil. But we gave them a real go today, and there's times where we should have won the game. Uh, you know, we had huge chances like Delhi that he should have scored. Um, so I personally think we should have, we deserve to win the game. Um, and we, you know, the stats showed about um, expected goals. I was a lot higher uh, than Liverpool's. And I think we deserved all three points of performance. Bearing in mind we haven't played uh, for two weeks now. Um, and we had shut, couldn't do any training. The training centre was shut for over three days. Um, all these positive COVID cases without the likes of Hoiberg, uh, Reggie and Reggie and Skip and so they're still not fit despite um, them coming on. Um, so we, Hoiberg was a big miss, and yes, Liverpool missed Van Dijk, and you could see that. But um, fair play to both teams giving it everything during this COVID crisis and such uncertain times. As I said, it really was a festive treat and Christmas special. It was so action packed, so many decisions. My opinion on the Robertson red card: it was a red card. Uh, it was a leg-breaking tackle. Um, some Liverpool fans and Klopp um, being one of them saying, um, you know, that the Kane tackle, that's the same. It's not the same. Kane had intent. They both had intentions to win the ball, but the Kane one's not a leg-breaker. It's a late tackle. So, you, you know, yeah, it, it, at least the yellow card, but Robertson one is a red card for me. Uh, even if it's not an obvious red, I still think it is... Um, a red card because it's a real lip breaker and it's frustration from Robertson. So I do think that is a red card. Um, we had, uh, but I do think that Liverpool's second goal shouldn't have stood because I think that was definitely clearly handballed by Salah. His arm was like that. So as I said, I really do think we should have won um, this game. You got a big chance with Delhi. Son couldn't quite get onto the end of Kane's ball, uh, especially in the first half. Huge chances. They still had a big chance in the second half. So and Liverpool's got the second goal shouldn't have stood. So and they had ten men towards the end. So as I said, we, um, I think we should have won. But as I said, you know, start of the day, um, start of the weekend. If you said to me. Would you take a point? I would have gone yes. So all smiles after this performance, and as I said both teams gave it all, and I um, I'm thankful for um, the entertainment on offer going into Christmas, and it was incredible. As I said, in such uncertain times, um, Premier League um, got a discussion with all 20 clubs on Monday. It'll be about whether the Premier League should take a break or not. I hope they don't. Uh, but even if that turns out to be the last game, it's an absolutely incredible game, uh, real uh, cracker, and it gives me confidence. Got, um, you know, this season top four, because it won't be easy to get top four, you know, competing with West Ham, Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, um, some big teams uh, competing for top four, and it won't be easy, but the difference that Conte's made since he's come in, the passion, the energy, um, the more yards run, the statistics and majors, and more, you know, so I, I said, you know, the back five worked, and we, uh, um, you know, I was, I was thinking to myself that Southampton, um, when you played that 3-4-3 three, three, uh, against uh, back, back, back three against Liverpool at Anfield and they got turned over losing 4-0 Stephen Gerrard went with the back five and it did work they only lost 1-0 and I was thinking the way we could win is by play, playing a back five 5-3-2 five, like we did um, obviously I, we couldn't predict the lineup, could we because you know the, um, such uncertainty hopefully we'll be able to in the future but as I said it's uncertain times uh, but I think we've done really well considering uh, that team you know we had Sessegnon, Winks and Dombele uh, on that pitch, Delhi rest up for him. We don't, I would like to mention that Delhi had some big chances that he should have scored, but the effort was there. He was in the right place at the right time, uh, and I think done very well. Now going into my player ratings. So, uh, player ratings, I've given Hugo Lloris at 8. I think he came out um, 
couple of times to, uh, when that long ball went behind from Liverpool and he made some fantastic saves in the game. So a solid eight and a comfortable eight uh, for Lloris. Uh, Eric Dyer I've also given an eight. Um, I think Dyer was very good, especially in the first half. Uh, we were under a bit of pressure before half time, head, getting his head on everything and really getting stuck in a real leader. Um, part of this Antonio Conte plan for the future. Um, also, Davinson Sanchez had given an eight, who I thought done really well. He had a crucial block um, to a big chance uh, towards the end. I think um, Liverpool's fullback they brought on uh, to replace Robertson with a red card to 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 kill us. Um, cross the ball in. It was a good, uh, very good block by Sanchez. Another comfortable eight. Um, so yeah, and I think he done really well to um, deserve that. Um, I've given uh, Ben Davis a seven, who I also thought um, done uh, well. Uh, ben Davis, um, I don't think he's done quite as well as Dyer, but I think, again, at back three today, um, were very, very, very solid um, and done very well. Uh, Cessna, I've given a seven. Um, yeah, I've given him seven uh, just about. Uh, Cessna, I've done well in his full-back role. Um, I think he's done well defensively. So a couple of times he lost the ball and couldn't have done a bit better with it, but the energy was there, and I think it was a good best performance in the Spurs shot. He's had Ryan Cessna, so he's proud of the performance. Emerson Royale given a six, who I thought defended well at times, the good blocks and good interceptions, but also gave the ball away sometimes in dangerous positions. So I've given him a six. Uh, Harry Winks I've given a seven, I thought done really well. A couple of really, really quality good passes, but at the same time losing the ball a couple of times in dangerous positions. Everyone does that, that's okay. I think I've been more patient like the likes of Harry Winks and uh, Delhi. Um, I won't be, I won't offload them in January just yet. Um, Nadal Blair given a six, he had a. Uh, um, Goal involvement with the first goal. It's a fantastic pass to find Kane, and that's the service Kane needs. He's got now two goals. Uh, Kane, oh, it's not, obviously not his usual standing. It's not good uh, in the Christmas period. He's usually got 14, 15, 16 maybe. Uh, but as I said, part of that is for service, and that ball from Ndombele proves why Ndombele is um, in that team and should be in the team more in the future. But at the same time, it's, you know, he lost the ball in the penalty box and done a couple of things he needs to work on. Um, but Ndombele is getting getting that. It was a good performance. And as I said, all the boys played really well. Uh, Delhi, I've given... Um, Delhi, I uh, did give, uh, in the end, a seven. Uh, but as a difficult decision, that kind of game for Delhi was a game where you could give him a five or a game where you could give him like an eight or nine. Uh, he, he missed some that chance that Alisson saved he should have put away and a couple of other really big chances. But at the same time, getting in the right positions, the energy it was there, the passing was there. Back to Delhi, back to his old best. I can't say at the moment, but that was a performance uh, under Pochettino that he you know, was so good at. Can he do it on a more consistent basis is the question. So many Premier League players can't. You look at Adama Traore for Wolves, who we were linked with, and David didn't buy it's very inconsistent. Um, finally, two more. Kane, I've given an eight. We obviously got that goal. Uh, I thought it worked hard for the team. Uh, Son, I've given an eight, who I thought, as I said, worked really hard. Uh, didn't, didn't stop running until the very end, giving it everything, and it was a very good performance from him. That is my player ratings, and they are they were on the screen. They've now disappeared. Uh, let me know what you tweak and change with the player ratings in the comments below. Finally, um, if anyone got the predicted score like nobody got the predicted score line, because actually nobody submitted... Um, Score line in the comments below. Um, don't think many people know about it yet, but if you have a chance of a special shout out in pre match preview, if you let you know in the comments below in pre match preview videos, uh, in all competitions, uh, if you let me know in the comments below your predicted score and you guess it correct, you get a shout out in my next video. Just a bit of fun um, to enjoy ourselves. I said thank you for watching this video, recapping really shortly about the performance of what we've talked about. Uh, it's good performance. Uh, I think we deserve to win, and I don't think. I think the red card should have stood and I don't think Liverpool's second goal should have uh, stood by handball for Salah. So I think we should have won the game. We also missed some crucial chances. But a point is a good thing and I would have taken it at the start of the day and it gives me more confidence in the future. As I said, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button though. Thank you guys. And as always, come on you Spurs.